So in the last video we added this widget to the footer. In this video we're gonna create a new widget. I'm gonna show, so show you how. We're gonna print the upcoming travels that we have here, for example. And for this we're gonna be using the widgets API. And this widgets API, it's an API that comes with WordPress. So almost everything is done. You only have to code what you want to show, for example, this. You can see we have these instructions, developing widgets. We have all of these. We're going to be using this example code. And you can see we have to add everything like this. And then we have to add the, the action for this. And you can see it's a lot of code, but we're going to create a new file. Let's create first a new folder. And let's call ink for includes. And we're going to open the functions.php file. And here on ink, I'm going to create a new file called widgets.php. So we're going to create all the widgets in this file. So let's load this file. Let's open this. And I'm going to add a comment that says widgets. And let's add if file exists. We're going to add the year name. Then we're going to pass the file, the file location. And we're going to add ink for includes, the folder that we're working on, and widgets.php. If this file exists, well, we're going to require it. So I'm going to add a required ones. Next, I'm going to add again their name and I'm going to add file. I'm going to concatenate these values and I'm going to copy this. So with this in place, we're going to work with the widgets. Let's see that this is working. And I'm going to copy everything from here. This second example, you can see here we have one, but I'm going to copy this one. So I'm going to copy all of these and paste it right here let's add a php block php and let's add the action for this widget so i'm going to copy all of this so let's save this and let's reload this in the backend of wordpress i'm going to log in in the, in the backend so i'm going to open appearance widgets is it not now and take a look here, you can see it says full widget, the title is widget title, and the description is a full widget. So let's look for this widget. You can see it right here, widget title, a full widget, and then you can add this to the, to the widget area. Let's add this to widget area too. And you can see it says new title, so let's save this and reload and here you can see it's printing the hello world so we're printing a title but we're printing this hello world this hello world comes from here from, from the code you can see it says hello world so with this in place we can create our own widgets let's change this a little bit you can see it says class full widgets extends wp widget so if you are familiar with object-oriented programming. You can see that this is inheriting from this class. So we're going to add upcoming tours. So we're going to change some values. Next, I'm going to create a new ID. This one is called full widget, but we're going to create a new one called upcoming tours. Next, you can see it says the title. So let's add upcoming tours. The description, well, let's add show to upcoming tours. So let's scroll a little bit. Here you can see we have this echo hello world. This is the part that is printing this information. So let's remove that. And here we're going to create a new WP query. But we're going to make things a little different. We're going to create a, a different variable. If you remember, we added args 
then an array, and then we added all the values that we need. But here we have these args, and you can create the same variable right here. So let's change this for query. And I'm going to create an array, and I'm going to create the array. I'm going to pass post type. And the post type for this is going to be tools. Next, I'm going to add post per page, and I'm going to show you only two tools. Next, let's create the order by. And we're going to order by this by title. And finally, order ascending. So let's create an unordered list for this. So let's create an order list. And I think I have to close the PHP block. So I'm going to close PHP and open right here again. So we're printing the HTML in this part. So I'm going to add UL. And for this, I'm going to add a class tools list footer. Next, I'm going to create another PHP block that says tools equals to new WP query. And then we're passing the query. While tools, let's add the parentheses, tools have post. Tools the post something like this let's close this one and let's add end while and also let's add wp reset post data so inside of this we are going to print all the values that we need for this you can see we need this name of the tool and this image so let's add an ally and I'm going to add class clear. So each one of the tools is one below each other. So I'm going to add clear. And since we are going to float some things, let's add this clear. So I'm going to create a new div with the class feature tour. And we're going to add the grid to four. And let's add PHP again, the post thumbnail. Because we need to print the feature image for the tour and for this we're going to be using the thumbnail size let's create another div and for this i'm going to add content tour so we can use some css to target this grid to four and let's add the omega class let's add an h3 tag because we're going to print some this as a title and also let's add an anchor tag so we can print when someone somebody where when someone clicks here it will take them to the tour so let's add the permalink and finally let's add right here the title so we can get something like this so let's close this let's add this comment right here Let's say it's content tool. And I think we're almost we are almost there. Let's scroll a little bit more. Here you can see we have this form. And I don't think that we need we need this form. So let's continue. And here at the bottom you can see it says register for widget. And then we are registering register the widget. So let's add register upcoming tours. And let's scroll a little bit so you can copy this class. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it right here in register widget. And we have to add the action here in the add action widget in it. So I think this is everything that has to be done. So let's save. And let's reload right here. You can see it says upcoming tools. So let's add this at widget. And let's add the title. It says upcoming travels. So let's save. And let's reload our website. And it looks like we are um, this looks like we have a mistake right here. So let's add yeah, is this post tom? Thumbnail, something like this. 
let's reload. And now you can see we're printing the feature image and also the name of the tool. So we have a little misspell right there, but, but now you can see it's working. So we have these upcoming travels. This way we have these widgets already created. So you can create all the widgets that, that you need for your team. And then your client can change this order and things like that, or remove them, add them, things like that. We have another two widgets here. We're going to create also them using the same method so we can practice a little bit more. So in the next video, we're going to print some block entries, entries with the widget hidden at the footer of the page.